Micro teaching is a method of teaching practice that is used in teacher training programs. It involves a teacher in training giving a short lesson, typically 10 to 15 minutes, to a small group of students, often just one or two, while being observed and evaluated by a supervisor or instructor. The purpose of micro-teaching is to provide the teacher in training with an opportunity to practice and improve specific teaching skills, such as planning, delivery, and assessment, in a low-stakes environment before they are put into practice in a full-scale classroom setting. Skill of Introducing the Skill of introducing a topic or lesson is an important aspect of micro-teaching. A good introduction should capture the student's attention and provide them with a clear understanding of what they will be learning. When introducing a topic in micro-teaching, the teacher in training should provide a clear and concise overview of the topic or lesson, preview the main points or objectives of the lesson, make connections to previous learning or real-world examples to make the topic relevant to the students, use engaging and interactive strategies to capture students' attention and interest, preview any materials or resources that will be used during the lesson. How to keep students attend in classroom It is also important to check for student understanding at the end of the introduction and provide additional support if needed, to ensure that all students are ready to engage with the topic being introduced. There are several strategies that teachers can use to keep students attentive in the classroom, including Engage students in interactive activities Use hands-on activities, group work, and discussions to keep students actively involved in the lesson. 4. Use a variety of teaching methods. Incorporate different teaching methods such as lectures, videos, and games to keep students' attention. 5. Provide clear and concise instructions. Make sure students understand what is expected of them and how to complete any tasks or assignments. 6. Use positive reinforcement. Reward students for good behavior and attention. 7. Maintain a positive classroom atmosphere. Encourage a positive and respectful atmosphere in the classroom. 8. Provide regular breaks. Allow students to take short breaks during class to stretch and move around. 9. Monitor and manage student behavior. Be aware of student behavior and intervene as needed to redirect students who are off task. 10. Differentiate instruction. Provide various levels of support and challenge to meet the needs of all students. 11. Provide immediate feedback. Let the students know immediately if they are on the right track or if they need to improve. 12. Make the content relevant and interesting. Connect the class content to students' interests and real-world examples. This will help students to relate and be more interested in what they are learning. How to board effectively effective use of the whiteboard is an important aspect of teacher training. Here are some strategies that can help a teacher in training use the whiteboard effectively. 1. Plan ahead. Before the lesson, plan out what you want to write on the board and how it will be organized. 2. Keep it legible, write large and clearly using different colors and font sizes as appropriate. 3. Keep it clean and organized. Make sure the board is clean and free of clutter. Use headings and bullet points to organize the information. 4. Use diagrams and illustrations. Use diagrams, illustrations, and other visual aids to help students understand and remember the information. 5. Use the board for interactive activities. 
use the board for interactive activities such as word games and puzzles, to engage students. 6. Use the board for formative assessment. Use the board for formative assessment and check for understanding, by asking questions and providing opportunities for students to respond. 7. Use technology. Use technology such as interactive whiteboards, videos, and online resources to enhance the use of the whiteboard. 8. Be aware of your audience. Be aware of the students and their abilities, and adjust the use of the whiteboard accordingly. 9. Provide clear instructions. Provide clear instructions when using the whiteboard and any other technology that is being used. Then, reflect on your use of the whiteboard, reflect on your use of the whiteboard, and ask for feedback from students and colleagues, to improve your use of the whiteboard. Skill of Reinforcement Reinforcement is an important aspect of teacher training. It refers to the use of rewards or other positive stimuli to increase the likelihood that a behavior will be repeated. Here are some strategies for effectively using reinforcement in teacher training. 1. Understand the different types of reinforcement, positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, punishment, and extinction are the four basic types of reinforcement. Understanding the different types and how they work will help you to use them effectively. 2. Use appropriate reinforcement. Use reinforcement that is appropriate for the behavior and the student. For example, a verbal praise may be more appropriate for an older student than a sticker. 3. Be consistent. Use reinforcement consistently to maintain the desired behavior. 4. Be immediate, provide reinforcement as close to the behavior as possible, to increase the chances of it being repeated. 5. Use a variety of reinforcement, use a variety of reinforcement to maintain student interest and avoid student satiation. 6. Use reinforcement to teach new behaviors, reinforcement can be used to teach new behaviors by rewarding students for approximations of the desired behavior. 7. Use reinforcement to increase academic engagement. Use reinforcement to increase student engagement and motivation in academic tasks. 8. Use reinforcement to improve classroom management. Reinforcement can be used to improve classroom management by rewarding good behavior and reducing problem behavior. 9. Provide feedback. Provide feedback to students about the behavior that is being reinforced and why it is important. Reflect on your use of reinforcement and ask for feedback from students and colleagues to improve your use of reinforcement in the classroom. How to manage students Managing students is an important aspect of teacher training. Here are some strategies that can help a teacher in training manage students effectively. 1. Establish clear rules and expectations. Establish clear rules and expectations for behavior, and communicate them to students at the beginning of the school year or class. 2. Use positive reinforcement. Use positive reinforcement to reward good behavior and encourage students to maintain it. 3. Be consistent. Be consistent in your management style and follow through with consequences for misbehavior. 4. Use active listening. Use active listening to understand students' perspectives and address their concerns. 5. Use appropriate consequences. Use appropriate consequences for misbehavior, such as natural consequences, logical consequences, or redirection. 6. Use a proactive approach. Use a proactive approach to management by anticipating potential problem areas and planning accordingly.
7. Use a variety of teaching methods. Use a variety of teaching methods to keep students engaged and to prevent misbehavior. 8. Communicate with parents. Communicate regularly with parents to keep them informed of their child's behavior and progress in class. 9. Use technology. Use technology such as classroom management software to help monitor and manage student behavior. 10. Reflect on your management style, reflect on your management style, and ask for feedback from students, colleagues, and supervisors to improve your management skills. Mm -hmm.